Well, I got a few minutes in camp here, uh, just kind of relaxing during the day as we're bear hunting here in Wyoming, and I just wanted to go through and explain to you the process of, of what it takes. Uh, it's really complicated in Wyoming, no other state or province. I've never seen anything like it in any other state that I've hunted, and so it's worth just taking a few minutes to explain it to you so you understand, uh, I guess, first of all, how difficult it is, and, and secondly, it'll help you uh, go through the process for yourself. Um, now, in Wyoming, the, you, you will register a section, and that's a one square mile section of land based on the township numbers, and um, that is your section, nobody else can bait in it. Um, now, the only way to know which sections have been registered before is you have to go to a fish and game office and look at the map of the sections that have been registered. And they give the people who have uh, registered the sections before, they give them the right to register them for that year before everybody else gets a chance at them. So it really stacks the odds in favor of the outfitters, number one, and then people who want to keep a, a section to themselves where they found a good bear baiting site you know they could just register it every year they don't even have to hunt it they just register it in april every year and uh, that keeps anyone else from getting that section and you can register two sections um, now before you register a section you have to buy your hunting license so you can't just go out and put some bear baits out and see you know, if you get some hits and then register the sites and, and buy your license or anything like that, you before you do anything else, you first have to buy your bear hunting license, which between the license and the uh, uh, habitat stamp is going to set you back uh, just under 400 bucks. So if you're a non-resident. So it makes it really difficult because you basically have to go scout the areas, try to figure out which sections that you want to register and you can register to register too but you're going to want to have several possibilities because when you go to the game and fish office and look at the map many of the sections that you want to hunt might already be taken um, now this year they changed it so you could register the sections online because of covid and the offices the fishing game offices were closed and so the maps were online well it really simplified thing it'd be really nice if they continued to do that because then you can just go online and pick which sections have been registered and which ones haven't and look at it. Now what I did, because coming all the way from Minnesota, I took um, Google Earth and uh, like Onyx Maps and Base Map and uh, then I would look at the sections that were not registered and I would look for good features that looked like they would um, be able to have a good spot for a bear bait located in those sections. Um, then the second thing you have to figure out is if you're going to be able to get to that spot. And and uh, one thing that we found was really difficult is that all of the trails that are marked on um, like on X or base map or Google Earth or topographic maps. In one case, we there was a topographic map and it showed a Jeep trail. So we thought we'd be able to get back into this area to put a bait in there. Well, when we got there, the it's gated off and it's only a footpath, it's foot travel only, and there's signs right there that says no um, no motorized vehicles. Well, in another case, one of the sections that I picked uh, before we got here uh, had a, a four-wheeler trail that went back to it several miles. Well, uh, we got on that four-wheeler trail and got about a mile back there when after we arrived, and then there's a gate and a sign that says no motorized vehicles except snowmobiles. So. That was one of my sections that I registered. I couldn't even get to to put a bait in it. Um, so it's very, very confusing and very, very difficult for the non-resident. Um, the other thing is that once you put the bait out, you have to go uh, register the GPS coordinates of the bait. And what makes this doubly difficult is because you have to register the sections in person you know where we're at right here it's an hour to cell service and it's another hour to the nearest game and fish office in Jackson and during August when you're baiting the season opens August 15th and uh, so you're baiting a few days before the season and then Jackson Wyoming at that time of the year is a jumble of tourists and it's 
it takes you forever to get through town. I mean, you can take you 30 minutes pretty much from the time you you hit the main part of Jackson to get to the fish and game office. So, you know, from where we're camped right here, it's uh, to get to town, to get to the fish and game office, and then uh, get the registrations done, then turn around and get back here. It's five hours to do that. That takes a lot of time out of your day for baiting and, and checking baits and stuff like that. Sorry to break in on you like this, but I just got home and I'm editing this video that I did in bear camp and a couple of things I just wanted to clarify a little bit better about this section thing. Now Wyoming has both a spring and a fall season and so when a person registers a section they register it for the year even if they only hunt in the spring that section cannot be hunted in the fall. If somebody shoots a bear right away nobody else can still hunt that section and so these outfitters can claim these sections the one outfitter has 28 sections that are claimed and so no one else can hunt in those square mile sections throughout the year. And the other thing is you just don't know how far away their bait is from yours. You could be right up against the edge of a section. They could be right on the other side of a section. In fact, that one section that I mentioned where we drove all the way back in and found that it was gated off and, and turned into a snowmobile trail. There was just one little tiny corner of that section that we could actually access and so we actually put a bait right there and uh, it turned out to be a pretty good bait but when we got the Jackson to register it, and I told the guys I think I, I said man we are right very very close to the edge of this section I hope we're actually in the section that we're supposed to be because we didn't have it on the GPS where the section lines actually are I was going from memory of seeing it online from home and we got to Jackson and we registered the section and, and the girl in the office put it in and she turned and looked at me and she says, you're nine and a half yards from the edge of your section. So literally someone else could have a bait legally 10 yards from me. And, w and you don't know if somebody's baiting in that section or not and there's no resource for you to find that out. So um, uh, that's other things to keep in mind with regard to where other people are baiting. And the other thing I probably should mention that I didn't mention in this video is that if you're hunting the early archery season that starts August 15th, you've also got to have an archery permit, which is $72. So anyway, back to the video. Once you have the sections registered and you put a bait out, then all you have to do is drive the hour from here to the nearest cell service where you can register those by the phone. But it, then if you shoot a bear, of course, then you've got to drive and uh, register the bear. So it makes it really, really difficult for the non-resident to come in and do this, but it can be done. You know, we're, we've got bears on our baits, and, and uh, we've got four baits that are in good spots. There's three of us, um, and despite the fact that a couple of the sections that we register we weren't able to use, um, we've made the best of it. and. Uh, I feel pretty confident that we're going to get a bear in front of us, but uh, just drop a question below if, if this is confusing to you. It definitely is. You can call up a Fish and Game office and uh, ask them to detail it for you. It's, uh, it's, 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 really, it's very difficult to make it all work and do it legally, and, and we've jumped through all the hoops and uh, you know, feel pretty good about uh, now that we've got it done. But uh, uh, if you want to bear hunt in Wyoming, with bait this is what you've got to do and and uh, the good thing is now that we found good bait sites if we want to come back next year then we could go in April and call in and register our sites it's very much stacked against non-residents but it is doable so if you do it I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you on the next video